Hello everybody, welcome to this short video tutorial of uh, how to use Focus Insights on a SAP Solution Manager. So in this video we will cover three simple steps that is how to open a dashboard, how to create a dashboard and how to add a query on it. So let's begin. So we first have to go into the SAP Solution Manager launchpad and then we have to look it for Focus Insight which is at the bottom of the screen. And as we reach at the bottom of the screen we can see there is a Focus Insights launchpad. We have to click on that. After clicking on that, there will be a window which says uh, different tabs like tactical operation and operational scenario. We have to look for OCC dashboards and we have to choose OCC dashboard. And after choosing OCC dashboard, we have to click on the OCC configuration tab which is just next to search. And then we'll see for the control center window has just op op open. And here we will gonna build our dashboards. For to build a dashboard, we are gonna create new instance which is just we have to add on the plus sign and here we can see we can name our dashboard for instance we are going to name our dashboard here as my first dashboard you can also choose rows and columns for instance we are going to group two by two two rows two columns you can also choose one and one you can also choose time range for the moment we are going to choose last month as our period and day as a resolution and we're going to click on the create button as you can see, there is a different fun functionalities in our dashboard. You have dashboard settings, you have gadget settings, you have dashboard layout, and plus you've got uh, different functions as well. To build a dashboard layout, we'll go to build uh, different gadgets. So to build a gadget, we have to click on the gadget number one. After clicking on the gadget, we have to name the gadget as you can see. For instance, we are going to give a title name here, it's CPU Time Memory. And then we have to choose one renderer. You can choose whatever you want like a column chart or a bubble chart for instance we are going to choose here line chart and then after that <clears throat> we have to add a query on it so for query we have to hit the plus button and then there will we have to add a legend in it for example we are going to add the cpu as a legend in the query section after adding the cpu in the query section we have to provide the data so for the data provider we will select system monitoring and then we're gonna go into the preview section of the dashboard to look what we have done so far. So we can see here that uh, it is gonna be something like this. To And after this, we'll save our work. And then we can go into the toggle edit mode or we, uh, and we can see our work that what we have done so far. As you can see here, we just built our first gadget in the dashboard. Similarly, you can build other gadget, gadgets as well. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.